Hello everyone, I'm very happy to see you today and I would like to present a question on the issue of long distance relationship and talking to you guys about some things that we often underestimate when we put our efforts, you know, when we work hard on our relationship and go through all the challenges that long distance relationships have to offer has to offer <laughs> so or actually have to offer right so what do we go through and sometimes don't even notice don't even give ourselves a recognition for it and I would say uh, sometimes even our family, our friends discourage us from our long distance relationship because they're afraid that it's gonna break us, that it's too hard, that it's too long and too far away. And sometimes they say, how can you marry somebody, you know, only for two months? But one thing that they dis uh, miscount and we miscount is that it's not only for two months or two weeks or even three days. It's all the time we spend on the phone, all the time we spend, you know, on Skype and sending emails and messages and maybe exchanging videos. It's all the time we thought about each other. It's all the time, you know, when people are tru truly connected, they, they can feel each other. Sometimes they say messages they send messages at the same time sometimes they um you know come having the same thoughts it's amazing you know how much more feelings get developed sometimes in a long distance relationship because for long distance relationship attraction the physical attraction isn't enough it requires much more than that to be alive it's soul connection, it's emotional connection, it's mental closeness, and of course it's a big desire uh, to, to, to love, to be together with that particular person because of all those things. It's, you know, when it's just uh, an attraction, uh, physical, it's very hard to have a conversation on the phone when you know you're not going to see the person for a while. It's kind of hard to, to you know, after a couple of minutes of laughter and jokes on the phone, you'll have a big pause because you will have nothing to talk about. But there is something amazing sometimes about long distances that very often you miss each other so much, you really share about your day. And then you talk about everything under the sun, about ideas, about thoughts, about books, about the future. It is. It can be very challenging sometimes. I, I don't have illusions. I know how hard it can be sometimes but still when you find interest and you get yourself spending so much time with a person that's supposed to be far away don't forget to count that uh you know that effort and that communication time because very often again it it's got it miscounted and guys you know it's hard for long distance couple to think about it but very many couples that are regular that are living together they don't talk they might talk about some surface conversations but they don't often uh, talk about the some deep things some um <clears throat> maybe some interests or some soul conversation what i call when you really reach out and you really connecting you know like wi-fi <laughs> like antenna you're really connecting with a soul not with their looks not with you know maybe some desires but when you're just trying to see the person behind the gender appearance mentality background when you just try to feel the person and what they go through and that is very precious that is something we are sometimes losing in, in this like busy busy mentality and in a long distance relationship believe it or not <laughs> it's 
you know, one of the most important things what's happening is that, you know, people do connect. That's what keeps them alive, that connection. Um, with all the challenges, not all the couples making it, obviously, but with all the challenges, those couples that made it through long distance, um, they have a special bond because they, they, they went through a lot together. So I'm just bringing up a, ch a, a point, guys, that all these efforts, commitment, strength, romance, all the beautiful things you do and hard things you do and challenges and sometimes, you know, sometimes arguments and misunderstanding and wish to, to drop this relationship. But, you know, all these efforts, they they would benefit you when you, you know, when you just don't give up. And if you believe in your heart that you're doing the right thing, don't let anybody put seeds of doubts. They're not in your body. They're not in your relationship. They uh, don't feel what you feel. They only will tell you from their experiences and most likely they will refer to those that failed. We came here to explore, you know, to, to learn. And uh, sometimes we are so negative when something didn't work out and we stop trying. So some people that will give you bad advice, it's those people that stop trying. You know, there is no guarantee, there is no blueprint. But we are becoming a better person when we go through challenges. We really do. And I can only say that I admire people's strengths, people that don't give up and don't give in to obstacles. You know, only you and your heart knows what you really want. And when you want something or you want to be with somebody, um, efforts you're willing to put will really show you, you know, who you are and how strong your love is. Before you say somebody, I love you, uh, take the time, you know, and see how your heart expands during this challenge. So, my main point, guys, don't let anybody discount all the efforts and all the real time and all the hours you spend with long distance person, you would be amazed that you might have had more connection, more romance and more warm soul conversations with your long distance love than the couple next to you that you're so jealous to had in years. Keep your face strong. Thank you.